here, see? Well, thank you, Ella. And thank you, moms, dads, and kids. Didn't that just sound awesome? Yeah, but how is it possible? Bottles aren't musical instruments. Well, sometimes they can be musical instruments, and it's easy to do. Really? How? Simple. All you need to do is just blow on them like this. Wow, you did that, Mr. C? Yes, I did, and you can do it too. So moms, dads, and kids, all you need to do is breathe in and breathe out. Today's lesson will be on pitch with blowing bottles. Come on. Hi, Mr. C. Hi, Ella. This is how blowing bottles work. When you blow on the edge of the bottle, you produce a jet of air. If you hold a bottle, you will feel vibration. The vibration that travels is the one that makes a sound. Like this, Mr. C? Whoa, did you feel the vibration? Did you hear the sound? Yes, Mr. C, but it's nothing like your bottle orchestra. Well, that's because we haven't made the pitch yet. We need one more ingredient. What? ta -da! Water. Moms, dance, and eyeshiners, I trust that you have put water into your bottles. We're going to have a game. Are you ready for that game? Ready, Mr. C. But before the game, I have to explain to you that blowing bottles is like playing wind instruments. And when you're playing wind instruments, it's like when you have longer tubes, they have lower pitches. And then when you have shorter tubes, they have higher pitches. Is it going to be the same here? When you have smaller space, it's going to be higher pitch. When you have bigger space of air, then it's going to be lower pitch. Let's try this game. All of you there at home, try to listen and tell me if it's lower or higher pitch. All right, you ready? I'm ready, Mr. C. Okay, you're always ready. Here we go. That one's high, it has the most water. Wow, okay, so you saw that bottle that has uh, a lot of water. So the next one, tell me, is this higher or lower pitch? That's lower than the first one you played. Okay, the next one here. That's even lower than the second one. Okay, now the last one. That's the lowest one. It has the least water. Yes, you can open your eyes. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. C. How about you guys? I'm going to teach you guys and Ella four types of sounds that you can create with just blowing the bottles, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready, Mr. C. Okay, yes. all right, very good. So now, the long sound. The short sound. Okay, now, the next sound that I'm going to teach you is the uh, loud sound. Here we go. And the soft sound. And I'm going to ask you for a short, loud sound. Very good. How about a long, soft sound? How about a short, soft sound? <laughs> Cute. How about you guys? You're doing well? All right. Next, we are going to jam. Okay. Now, just play. We're enjoying ourselves. See how well we made music with blowing bottles? It's so easy. I told you you can do it. And because of that, you know what that means. Task time! It's task time. Today's task is all about creating pitch and making music with blowing bottles. The first thing you'll need to do is look for a couple of identical bottles. Then fill both bottles with different amounts of water. Now. 
Moms and dads, this is very important. I need you to take a video of your eye shiner playing his or her homemade blowing bottles with four kinds of sounds from the lesson. A short sound, a long sound, a soft sound, and a loud sound. Last but not least, upload your video here. Just make sure your video doesn't go over three minutes. I am so ready to get my mind blown by your bottle blowing performance. Till the next lesson, this is Mr. C. And Ella. Telling you to light up learning and nurture the gift with iShine 5. Bye.